Hi, my name is Josh. I run 20 to 25 miles a week in sandals for the past nine years now. And I loved it so much that I started my own company. I've had a lot of experiences, a lot of good. I've definitely had some bad ones. Um, and everything in between and I just want to share with you everything that I know about it and Hopefully you can use some of this avoid some of my mistakes and Hit the trails yourself, you know really take advantage of what you've been given uh, physiologically and so um, You know, you're not going to need to rely on Modern footwear with arch support and big heels and all that uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it step by step and take a look at this thing and get you set to uh, perform at your best. The first tip I want to give you for running in sandals is to stand up straight. Standing up straight is probably one of the most basic things we can do and it's one of the first errors that people will make. But what I see with a lot of people is we lose that efficiency and, and really efficiency is what what we're after whether we're running in sandals or any normal kind of footwear but um, what happens is our we get tired our technique is going to break down and to keep good technique you know we have to stay in an efficient um, form so that we can keep that technique going the more we break out of that the harder it's going to get so early on when people start running you'll see them uh, especially if they're not conditioned very well. They're going to start to drop their chest, maybe their, their pelvis back and their chest down, or their arms are going to kind of swing all kinds of different ways, and they're going to be doing whatever they can to sort of lessen the impact of going through the process of running. And so, but at, when, it, when they do these things to compensate for the lack of, of uh, maybe conditioning, and ability to maintain that te technique, they're actually gonna make the running harder on themselves. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna stand up straight. Now, when I talk about standing up straight, um, we don't wanna overdo it and we don't wanna underdo it. So we wanna get to where we're, we're tall and we're comfortable. The next thing is we are gonna lean, there's gonna be a slight lean forward. A lot of people have described this in, in other videos, but you want to get to the point just before you're falling forward. So we're gonna have a slight forward lean. And then another thing that helps me when I'm, when I'm standing up straight, or to stand up straight, is to my, I like, I fix my eyes on a point out in the distance, and I wanna keep my head from bobbing, okay? When I'm running, I'm gonna keep my head fixed on that same, that same point. And if I can do that, I'll, I'll stay relatively tall. This is gonna be important because uh, if, we, if we stand up straight, if we stand tall, we're not gonna dip down too far. That means our stride isn't gonna become inefficient. Uh, we are allowing our bodies to collect that energy with each step, um, you know, loading it in the tendons and ligaments and, and then uh, letting it out with each step and not relying too much on our muscles. So that's the first thing and that's what I'm going to do today. So today my goal is to stand tall even when I'm going um, uphill, downhill and I'm going over bumps. I want to keep my head nice and steady and so during my run I'm going to focus on staying tall and I'm going to run for about eight miles and I want to keep a pace somewhere around uh, eight minutes a mile. That's my goal today. And we'll see how that works out. So here I am at Nicene Marks. This is one of my favorite trails to run on. Um, the really cool thing about it is there is a, it's, it's basically a fire road. Um, and you can run about four and a half miles into the park. And there's only a slight incline. I can run in the woods on a flat surface and not really get the challenge of the hills, which is nice because that gives me a better chance to work on my technique. And today's technique obviously is going to be standing up straight. There are trails that shoot off every direction here. And so I'm going to run a little bit of my run, maybe about two of the eight miles, maybe three of the eight miles um, on these trails that skirt the, the road and the creek. And in those situations, when the 
terrain varies, that's when I really want my technique to uh, be its best. And I really want to focus at those times on standing up tall because it's going to be my, you know, natural inclination to sort of shrink down and, and change with the terrain. So that's my goal today. So here I go. We'll see how it works. Into the uh, trail portion of the run. So I'm just going to be running along the, between the road, the fire road and the creek for a mile or so here and this is where the the challenge really starts for me is trying to keep my head up and keep all those good running patterns especially right now just staying tall while the terrain is changing under my feet um, i think that's that's always the big challenge no matter what aspect of training or you know to run to maintain that good technique no matter the situation Shoot. hit my timer again downhill the rest of the way and i'm really going to work on staying tall and downhill maintaining my speed and just take advantage of of that little uh little boost from the downhill so here we go Stay in tall. Stay in tall. My mind's wandering and I'm doing all kinds of different things. So, thinking about stuff. Gotta keep the eyes on the prize. Last mile was really good, 634. Man, I was cruising. And a lot of that is because I'm focused on good technique. Good. Right, so, here's how it went. It was pretty good. Probably the hardest thing was holding this camera. Um, it made the run a little choppier than I wanted. But other than that, um, I really focused on just standing tall. And I really think it's standing tall is the place you need to start with your running, uh, especially in sandals or whatever you're doing. Stand tall because you want to put the biggest pieces of your body in the best position for success. And so, um, you know, our bodies are meant to stack uh, on top, uh, you know, everything's stacked uh, vertically. So if we can start by getting that initial stack right, a lot of the other stuff is gonna start to fall in place. Now we're gonna go over more details um, as we continue to do this, this uh, series, but it was a good run. I think it was successful and, um, we had some fast times too, and I think that was because of the technique. In any case, I hope you learned something today, and we'll see you next time when we teach you how to run in sandals. Later. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.